I'm Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore here with Americans comedian Kurt Metzger and the miserable liberal Steph Zamorano. And uh, here is the headline from CBS News where the former U.S. ambassador to Russia, John Sullivan, he admits that he has some criticism of the Biden administration that he served in. He was the U.S. ambassador to Russia, and he says that the U.S. did not go uh, fast enough in setting off weapons to Ukraine. In the process, though, he's going to say something very curious that we're going to discuss. So here he is. This is the former U.S. ambassador uh, to Russia, John Sullivan. Ambassador, when when you talk about the war in Ukraine politically here in the United States, President Biden gets attacked by Republicans in particular for being too slow moving to approve certain types of weapons. Fighter jets, for example, for a year have been debated about whether to give them or not. Um, is this too slow moving if we are actually in this incredibly important moment? Well, it is an incredibly important moment, and I think some of the criticism has been fair. It has been, I think, the administration, of which I was a part until recently, has been a little slow, has been cautious. President Biden, uh, the, the marching orders we got at the start of, of this conflict was he wanted to do everything we could to support Ukraine, but he didn't want a war with Russia. And that's the careful balancing act that we've, the administration has been going through. But Not Vladimir easy judgment. Putin doesn't want a war with the United States either. Uh, Vladimir Putin says he's already at war with the United States. He says the reason that he invaded Ukraine is that Ukraine, put up to it by the United States, was going to invade Russia. Ukraine was going to develop nuclear weapons. The United States and Ukraine would develop that's not what russia said uh, <laughs> russia said that uh ukraine was going to invade the donbass which is a region of ukraine that russia has been supporting since a u.s backed coup in 2014 uh brought into power a coup government that basically declared an assault on ukraine's russian-speaking population so the rebels in the east in the donbass region backed by russia rose up and uh russia said that it intervened in ukraine because ukraine was about to launch an offensive to wipe out the Donbass rebels. So that's, and the, Russia didn't say specifically that uh, the U.S. was going to put nuclear weapons inside uh, Ukraine. Their bigger fear was that the U.S. would, by expanding NATO to Ukraine, would put offensive weapon systems inside Ukraine, like the U.S. already has in Poland and Romania. So that was the Russian allegation against the U.S being bioweapons. The times that he will use the word war to discuss what's happening in Ukraine is when he says the West, the United States, and all of its vassals, the word they use, is actually at war with Russia. So watch this. Now he's going to mock the idea that the U.S. is using Ukraine for a proxy war against Russia. <sighs> When he talks about the special military operation, mm -hmm. that's the response by Russia to the war that the United States is already waging through its Ukrainian proxies. As they say, the United States wants to fight against Russia to the last Ukrainian, and it's all, it's all made up. Well, uh, <laughs> I, Lindsey Graham said that himself. Well, well, let's hear from the man himself. So the former U.S. ambassador to Russia claims that the idea that the U.S. is using Ukraine to fight Russia to the last Ukrainian, he says that's all made up. Well, I guess he hasn't heard from one of the most influential senators in the U.S., Lindsey Graham. Here's what Lindsey Graham has to say about that. Four months into this thing, I like the structural path we're on here. As long as we help Ukraine with the weapons they need and the economic support, they will fight to the last person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So is Lindsey Graham spewing Russian propaganda? Mm-hmm. I guess I think it's Russian propaganda to remember a thing that happened before another thing now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it one more time. John Sullivan again. That's the response by Russia to the war that the United States is already waging through its Ukrainian proxies. As they say, the United States wants to fight against Russia to the last Ukrainian. And it's all it's all made up. It's all made up. Four months into this thing. I like the structural path we're on here. As long as we help Ukraine with the weapons they need and the economic support, they will fight to the last person. Amazing how Russian propaganda sometimes turns out to be true and confirmed by the same people that John Sul people like John Sullivan are on the side of. Lindsey In Graham. what world would you be supplying weapons to someone fighting a war and not be considered directly yes. fighting through a proxy? Like, yeah. What situation would that not be that? Yeah. Well, they don't want to admit that because that reveals the U.S. 
the real the real U.S. aim, and the real U.S. aim was what Lindsey Graham admitted that as long as we keep arming them, they'll fight to the last. If you person. gave guns to school shooters, and <laughs> they're like, "Oh, you're responsible," <laughs> no, we're striking a balance. Doing live stand-up comedy in Tempe, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Coho's, New York, and Hartford, Connecticut. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. Get access to all our content.